Hello everyone, my name is Ninja Dope Fire and welcome to Dead Wheels. So we can see that there is a hill that we're going to be riding down in a shopping cart. Um, I don't know why there's a team of people here, I guess that's just for the title menu to make it look like an awesome, awesome fun game. But you can only control one person, so let's go ahead and make a new game. And let's see what kind of high score we can get. This is, uh, this is probably one of the best games that I've ever seen and as you can see there is going to be a hell of a lot of obstacles coming oh my god how do I even do this? okay so apparently you don't have much control when you're actually in the air um, this is literally the second time I have um, ridden my shopping cart down this hill and I expect at any moment a car to actually bust it see if we just fly out like that, we're not going to get very far, so maybe we have to actually slow down. Um, or we could go along the side path. Um, well, that's actually going to kind of kick us out as well. So, let's give it another go. For some reason, when you just click forward, um, this, this cart actually veers to the right. So, if we slow down, speed up once we get to here, but how do we stop it from... Oh my god! <laughs> I think you can actually control the cart once you've actually flown out of it. Um, so even though I am not in here, we can actually just still continue to control this thing. Um, as difficult as that may be without being inside of it, it is still possible. And I'm fairly sure you can crash into these trees. So let's go ahead and slow down and oh, there's, there's jumps and there's like points there. Why can't I speed back up again? Okay, so I must have actually just completely broken whatever it is I was doing there because I went too slow. I'm gonna go ahead and try and get to this uh, this jump on the left here. Um, I'll have to slow down a tidbit so I don't actually. S oh my god, we're actually gonna do a backflip. Don't worry about the guy um, in in the <laughs> shopping trolley because he is really not that important. But we got a score of 25 just then, um, so it looks like we have to pick up. Um, some of these little blocks to actually get a good score. You know what, we can actually go ahead and... Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, the horror. The horror of riding a shopping cart down a gigantic hill. Um, <laughs> this is not... That's not going to work out. We actually have to um, try and hit the correct point um, on... Oh my god, see, even, I was doing that slowly, and it still completely screwed me up. We're still going strong here, we, okay, we, we've t for some reason we turn into blocks as well, um, when we actually hit the ground like a, like a person, that's m maybe what they're, they're made of in this game, they're just, just blocks, and then that's what they turn into, and it's kind of confusing. Probably gonna get hit by a car right now, I can see them appearing right there, actually we're still in the shopping trolley. Okay, there we go, we've actually banged our head and it turned into a few blocks. Let's give this another go. This is a free-to-play game, of course. Um, the developer was um, kind enough to oh, provide this free of charge. See, it's kind of funny how the actual camera only focuses on the shopping trolley. So, technically, I am the shopping trolley. I am not the person. The person doesn't have to be in the shopping trolley for me to control it. So, uh, yeah, you're actually the shopping trolley, and I guess Part of the game is maybe like some some weird meaning to get the person out of the shopping trolley and um, sort of free yourself from the bounds of um, you know controlling humans that are needed to for some reason ride shopping trolleys down a street. We're gonna slow. Oh my god! See if you if you slow down too quickly, you're actually gonna. I think pretty much when you do anything in this game. Um, you basically just fail. Um, I would really, I don't know how long this would go for, the actual heal. And see, we're just going to get smashed by cars there. Um, not exactly the most ideal thing because, um, we're going to have to ring our mothers to actually come and pick up all the blocks that, um, contain our body parts and, um, actually put us back together because, um, that's basically what they're there for. Okay, so we can go straight through the pole and that was an awesome trick. We actually did like a backflip. Or was it a front flip? It was some sort of somersault, back salt, crazy salt, um, putting salt on the shopping trolley wheels would probably make it go faster. I wouldn't recommend doing that though because that is against the laws of the shopping cart game. And yeah, 
the, I mean, this is definitely one hell of a difficult game. It would definitely take you quite a while of learning um, how exactly the physics and um, and when you jump out of the cart works. See, I'm just going to get hit by a car now because I'm too slow. Actually, we're going to jump over the car <laughs> and we're going to go sideways and just turn into blocks again. So this has been dead wheels. I mean, it's something to occupy a bit of time. It is free. I think it's a fairly small download as well. So, you know, go ahead. You can, you can like, get rid of the human in your cart, the filthy alien human, and just continue on doing cool stunts down a, a really well-detailed road, and um, obviously cars will simply just move through you, because that is how the, um, the game simply works. So my name's Ninja Dubfire, and I was just doing, I was just doing a, a goddamn wheelie madingy thing on one wheel. Look at this, look at this skill! Oh my god, this is a new, this is a new type of game inside of the game. This is getting too, this is getting too deep and technical for me. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I want to thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.